New at 5, a Milwaukee man wants answers after he was hit by an MPD squad car last night. He says the squad was going the wrong way on a one-way street. Lauren Winfrey has our story. This right here is what's left of that crash, and the father of nine involved says he's lucky to be alive after that squad car plowed into him, leaving him with a serious head injury and a number of unanswered questions. A fractured finger, a head wound, and stitches above his eye. This finger now, this finger now, I'm getting a numb feeling all of my arm. Those are just a few of the injuries Jamal Tate walked away with after he was hit by a Milwaukee police squad car Wednesday night. I never seen him, never heard him, and all I looked up and seen was a car running into me. The crash happened around 10 p.m. near 44th and Locust when the squad car was rushing to assist with an arrest. Tate says he remembers the cars colliding, then violently sliding into a pole. He says he was traveling west on Locust and the officers were headed south on 44th, driving in the wrong direction on a one-way street. And so you said you were kind of out of it. When you came to, what was going through your mind? I was just scared. I was happy to be alive. Tate was rushed to the hospital, but his personal belongings were left behind. He says with little help from police, he's spending the day trying to track down everything from his house keys to his now totaled car. They got me running around looking for my property. I should be able to have that. I can't even get in the house. I can't do nothing right now. We reached out to police. They haven't gotten back to us with answers to Tate's concerns, but they do say they are still investigating. Reporting near 44th and Locust, Lauren Winfrey, today's TMJ4. Now, the two officers in the squad were also injured in that crash. They were treated and released from the hospital.